What's cooking? Hello everyone, I'm your host Brett and uh, you know real quick I just I have to introduce you to someone real quick um, he, he, You know he wants to be inside your mouth and his name is mac and cheese and blah 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 you get the picture All right now that we're done with that if you uh, if you caught that reference Good on ya, you're getting some brownie points. If you didn't catch that reference, maybe check out an episode or two of Meet Max sometime. It's an old show I used to do with my, my good buddy, Josh Mastery, uh, where we would make various kinds of mac and cheese, and we had a lot of fun with that. Got some uh, some decent viewage, too. Um, but anyway, uh, today is not Meet Max, so we're done talking about that. Um, what we are gonna do, though, I am gonna make some mac and cheese. Uh, for what's cooking Wednesday so here we go um, what I'm doing here I'm just making your basic mac and cheese your cheddar mac and cheese uh, it's not super basic because it's a beer cheese mac and cheese I've already got the water starting to boil over there for the noodles and once that's boiling I'm gonna drop those in there and get it going but don't worry we're not gonna make you sit and watch noodles boil for eight nine minutes uh, I'm gonna be talking a little bit uh, and then I'll just cut forward so, you know, you don't have to watch anything other than me waving around my knife all sexy-like. Right. Anyway, uh, back to it. Like I said, this is What's Cooking Wednesday, and, uh, you know, I've been keeping up. I've had, uh, what, two of these so far? One, two, yeah, two of these so far. I don't even remember what I made for the first one. I know for the second one it was an apple crisp, right? Maybe the first one was the apple crisp. Whatever, I don't care. Either way, I hope you've been enjoying it so far. I'm gonna be using this mac and cheese to make chili mac, so that's why what I'm doing is I'm making a beer cheese mac and cheese, your traditional cheddar mac, but it's also gonna have some uh, some cheap beer thrown in there to add a little extra flavor. Now, technically, I don't have to chop up this onion too, too fine, but I'm gonna give it a, a, a nice chop here. Um, and then I've also, I, oh, duh, I need to, I need to tell you my ingredients. So, of course, you know, the noodles over there are going to be nice and al dente. But in terms of the ingredients here for this mac and cheese, I'm going to make a basic roux. Okay, I'm going to be using butter and flour. But here's the thing about the butter I'm using. I'm using black garlic infused butter. This is a, um, yeah, this is a compound butter. I made the black garlic and then I blended it up with some cultured butter and, ooh, just kind of roll it up into this nice big roll and let it sit for a while and oh it is so delightful now black garlic if you haven't had it it's a little tough to describe it's kind of like garlic it's got that garlicky flavor but it's really really subtle and then it takes on a certain sweetness because you basically caramelize all the sugars and everything inside that garlic so what you do and it's really simple to make it's really worthwhile even if you're just making it so you can make compound butter with it because let me tell you that compound butter is amazing and that's what i'm going to be using for the roux but anyway to make black garlic go ahead and get yourself a rice cooker and use the steam basket line it with some paper towels throw on your whole cloves with as much of that peel still on the cloves not the cloves the whole heads of garlic yeah so throw whole heads in there fill up that steamer basket with whole heads of garlic whole peel still on and just throw it on the warmer setting so that it's like you're keeping food warm you know and leave it just let it sit there for a good three weeks and then when you pull it out you'll peel it that garlic will come right out it's uh it's it's gonna be black it's gonna be some of them will be a little hard but a lot of them will be real kind of buttery soft and uh yeah it's so delightful and then just take that and you mush it up or you, you throw it in a food processor with that cultured butter. Let it sit out for a little bit so it softens and you're not, you know, blending hard butter. Uh, but anyway, do that and then roll it on up with some wax paper. Fantastic. So that's what we're going to be using today. We're going to use that butter. Uh, I've got, here we go, your standard all-purpose flour, whatever, you know. And uh, that's what we're going to use to make our roux. Gonna season it with a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and of course I've also got, oh, what kind of onion is this? It's a, mmm, basin gold. It's, all I know is it's a big <laughs> onion. This is half the onion here. Big <laughs> basin gold onion. Oops, sorry. I'll, uh, I'll bleep those out. It's a, it's a basin gold onion. It's a big onion. It's gonna add plenty of flavor, and uh, 
you know, I, I at least I like onion in my mac and cheese. I thought about adding some fresh uh, oregano and rosemary from the garden, but at the same time, this is a, a more simple mac and cheese. Those uh, those flavors, while good, uh, you know, I'm not gonna need those so much with a chili mac. You know, they're not gonna come through quite as strong when I just get them lightly subtle in the mac and cheese. Those I'll reserve for when I'm making mac and cheese just to have, you know. There we go, I'm gonna fill this bowl up with that basin gold. I've only chopped half of it so far, that's okay. I'll get the other half in a second here. And I also wanna get, I've got some elephant garlic here. I sliced off a little bad spot on it. I'm gonna slice off, you know, the little base there, but that's cool. I like elephant garlic because, you know, the, the cloves are, well, they're ginormous. There's a reason they're called elephant garlic. But it's still, it's got a good spice to it. So, you know, I don't wanna lose that strong garlicky flavor with this mac and cheese, so I'm gonna add that gar elephant garlic as well. Uh, in addition to all that, I'm also going to be adding, I've got some ancho chili powder, and I've got some cayenne pepper, because I like a little bit of a kick to my mac and cheese. Of course, I've got, you know, your standard shredded cheddar. Really, when you're making mac and cheese, it's better to get a block of cheddar and to shred it fresh, but I don't feel like doing that right now and this will work just fine. I want a little primo with uh, with the cremo though. Um, instead of milk or something like that, I'm using, uh, there's a local creamery called Homestead Creamery. They sell it at, at uh, Earth Fair. Uh, unfortunately, the Earth Fair here just closed down, so this is my last batch of this stuff, but this is the half and half from Homestead Creamery. You gotta shake it real well, and uh, you know, it's got that plug of the, the full, cream, the, the actual cream at the top, and it's amazing. Uh, so I'm gonna be using the half and half here. Oh, it looks like we're out of bowl oil, give me a second. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna be using that half and half from Homestead Creamery there uh, after I make my roux. I'm gonna add that in, I'm gonna slowly add in the cheese so I can make a real good creamy sauce. And then for some extra flavor, I've got, like I said, a, a cheap can of beer here that I don't have any temptation to drink. So that's going right in the cheese sauce. Anyway, let's get to, to cutting a little bit more here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and ready a nice pat of this butter, because that's gonna be good. You know, I'm gonna use a fair amount, a good slice like that. So the reason I actually made this, look at that, yeah, here we go. Let's get that on the camera there. Ah! It's butter, it's slick. So the reason I actually made the black garlic butter was because I wanted to use it on steaks. You know, I mean, I love a good steak. And while I'm cooking steak, you know, I've got my preparation. And then when I actually throw it on the grill, which I'll do steak one of these weeks, but when I actually throw it on the grill, um, I put on a pat of butter and let that kind of melt and baste the steak while it's grilling, as well as a nice good pinch of black pepper tossed on there. Flip it, do the same thing. Well, I thought, you know what? Some black garlic butter, ooh. Baby, that would add something real special. So anyway, those noodles are boiling. I got that pat of butter cut. I'm gonna cut up the rest of these ingredients. I've got, you know, the garlic and the rest of this onion. And, uh, you know, I'll come back in just a minute once I've uh, started on that cream sauce, cream sauce, and uh, we'll get to it. You guys are still here? Ah, that is way too al dente still. Uh, I'm gonna give, I had to make some extra noodles. We made so much cheese sauce. So, um, I guess I should eat this one. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm just gonna throw it away. And um, let the other ones boil for a little bit longer. I made some extra noodles. Not elbows, they're farfalle, you know, little bow ties, I love those things. Um, so I'm adding those to the existing elbows in the cheese sauce. But, uh, yeah, okay, uh, yeah, you're still here. Cool. Yes. Um, yeah, I'll, uh, 
show you the rest in a minute. In the meantime, I'm uh, slicing up some brisket here. Well, I've already sliced it up. Uh, and I'm looking forward to eating it because I'm pretty hungry. So, uh, you know, I'm going to do that. Good cheese sauce. Waiting for the noodles to cook. Really want to jump into this brisket, but it's not heated. I gotta clear up some space on the stove. Oh, mmm, yeah, mmm. I'm gonna be a bit impatient, but you know, I, I I'm confident that this one. Well, hmm. One least time. All right, seeing as you stuck around, I figured I might as well share with you this mooey delicioso bowl of mac and cheese. Oh yeah, it's still really hot and you can see the steam and it's gonna burn my mouth if I try to eat it. But I promise you it's delicious. I've been tasting the sauce as a go and it is fantastic, it's amazing. Look at that, you got several kinds of noodles there. And uh, yeah, oh, okay, I got it. I gotta get one little bite, one little bite. Oh, mm-hmm, oh yeah. Onion still got a little bit of a bite to it. Cheese is super there. Mm. A little bit of that beer flavor from, oh yeah, that, that beer I used earlier. And I also added a few slices of American cheese just because I had it and I know I'm not gonna use it otherwise. And uh, that adds, usually I like to add some of that, I gotta eat more, some of that uh, orange cheddar powder because it gives you the flavor of nostalgia. That's a, nostalgia, I will stand firm in this belief that nostalgia is a flavor and a strong one at that. And uh, with that orange powder or with Velveeta, something like that, you get that flavor of nostalgia because that's, you know, this is stuff that tastes like the box mac and cheese that you absolutely love when you're a teeny tiny little kid, you know? And uh, you can get the same thing with some sliced American because it's basically the same stuff. So I had some, added it, boom. Got that little bit of nostalgia flavor in there. And uh, otherwise, cheddar, beer, cream. I did add a little bit of sour cream as well. Super good. And like I said, you got the onions in here and the garlic. Ooh, yeah. It's something else. It's something to, uh, to be enjoyed for sure. Anyway. Thanks for joining me for this What's Cooking Wednesday, and I'll see you guys next time. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Oh.